So, it's me, your little boy, Ike Samson. You know, I have something special, unique for us chosen ones today. You know, there's something that I always tell people. You know, look at it. The same way our parents are content, you know, feel good, feel nice, feel what, feel so what, good. When they hear that, you know, like we are progressing, succeeding, prospering. That is the same way you should understand that when you are putting in your effort in life, God is always content with you. You know, I don't used to tell people, you have no idea how great it is to God when you are prospering as a child of God. Each of us need money. Forget about what people are trying to tell you. Each of us on planet Earth, we need money in order for us not to do things that is contrary. Because let me tell you, a lot of people are doing what they ought not to do today because of lack of this money. So you have to understand that you as a believer, you as a choosing, it is necessary and what and something so courageous for you to put in the best you could, for you to put in your consistent, the best you could. Trust me, because the more you prosper in life, the more you realize that God will be so pleased, God will be so content with you. You know what I'm saying? Because trust me, no mother will see each, each of her sons or daughter progressing that she will never be content. Yes, we have a lot of nurses' mothers, nurses' parents, nurses' uncles and ETC. But trust me, deep inside them, many of them may be jealous. But behind you, when they are talking about others, when people are saying about others, some of them use you to become what so proud. When people are saying, ah, look at whom your brother is, look at what your brother is doing. Look, you know, like one day I was making a call with one of my town person. He was telling me about my what, my, my, my own what, brothers. I was just like, ah, oh, that is good, that is good. I'm so proud of them, I'm so this. Because let me tell you, that is the same way God is proud of us. You know, when, there was a time that I was telling all men to do or to work hard. One guy was... That was last year, the last two years. This guy was telling me, ah, uh, that is not your business. You don't have to tell people. Because trust me, the, the reason why we have a lot of stuff going on today is because of the fact that we don't want to know the bitter truth about what we save our life because the truth is that god have made us to prosper but many of us have been brainwashed that manner will fall but trust me you will excel if you put in the, the work you will prosper because god will not watch your time to be wasted as long as you are working you are putting your best every day god is going to bless that stuff Trust me, God is, you just have to have patience. God is going to bless with that stuff. It does not matter how little it is. It does not matter how great it is. God will expound it. So don't come to the point of thinking that, ah, God don't want us to prosper. God just wants us to focus on, on his word, on his uh, mission and his career. And many of us believe that prayer can make us rich. Prayer can make us successful. Look at it. All the whole apostles of Christ have already been multi-millionaire, rich, and we are capable doing before they meet Christ. None of them become, you know, uh, successful before after they meet Christ. No, they are already rich. They have put in their best. They have worked their best. They have put in all their effort. You know, so that is why you should understand that don't let people bring what you because today some preachers will tell you ah you don't need to do what you don't need to work out you don't need you need to go work 24 hours you need to be i mean oh sorry for saying work you need to be in church 24 hours monday tuesday wednesday thursday you know i i i, I was calling one of my friends so this my friend was telling me that on Monday morning, imagine, on Monday morning they are in church doing what? A time that you're supposed to be working, time you're supposed to be working. 
you are in the church praying for who time that you're supposed to think of on what to provide for your family how to secure your life how to secure your future you are there praying when on sunday is the necessary day sometimes here where we base even on some day after church many people walk because trust me it does not matter how how much prayer you pray uh, ask yourself a question have that prayer bring a meal into your table that means there's a reason why god said we should walk so my brother you know when you are prospering you are succeeding ah when god look at you trust me the same way your mother will look at you, your father will look at you and tell you, I love you, I'm so proud of you. That is the same way God will gently, you know, be pleased with you. Because trust me, when last, when, um, it's not Lazarus, I mean, na the man that was a slave in the Bible, and it's not Lazarus, that would be Lazarus if I'm not, what, if I'm not mistaken, in the book of Matthew, the Bible says when this man died, the rich man died, the, 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 the rich man went to her. So getting to her, there is no water, no food. He still remember the word, the servant. 